Hey guys, welcome back to Figure It Out with Gabby and Khalil. Okay, so for our episode today, it's going to be we doing today? the most random thing ever. So Random but surprisingly challenging and provoking. Yeah. K- okay. Provoking. Mm. So if you've been listening to our podcast, most of the topics are just chosen by us. Yeah. And well, helped by you guys, actually. You guys recommended yeah. and suggested what we could talk about. Pero siyempre, pinili namin. So Saka, this time we're... Tsaka yung topics na yon, yung something that we wanna talk about. Yeah. So right? Topics that we uh, feel chose, comfortable yeah. and we, that we chose and that we want to share. So mm-hmm. right now, we're doing something different. Okay. So what are we doing? So to spice things up. Mm-hmm. Oh. We are taking this intimacy deck and answering it for you guys yeah so okay the intimacy deck this has is the intimacy deck. has category so we have here um past random life relationship intimacy and about you so for today's episode we are gonna be tackling intimacy hmm this is gonna is it this is part one of six of a series yeah uh here on this podcast so this is part one uh, since it's called the intimacy, like, unahin na namin yung intimacy para we start Medyo strong. kinakabahan ako dyan sa intimacy na yan. Kasi yeah. like, these are random questions that yeah. we are gonna be answering individually. Yeah. We'll let you know na lang if we don't wanna answer them. Mm-hmm. Or do we have to We'll be honest. One? No. Yeah. No, we'll see. If it's too we'll private, see. We'll of see. course, we won't answer. Yeah, that. we'll see. So, ito yung colors, guys, so you can see. <laughs> there. So right now, we're answering red. Red is for intimacy. Or orange pala, sorry. This is orange. Okay, this is orange. Alright, let's start. So guys, we didn't read earlier prior to this episode. Um, So it's literally random. Yeah. I'm kind of nervous, huh? Like, if we were to talk about like random things or about you or like past, mas medyo kaya pa. But this is intimacy. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what level of intimacy the questions are. Like, gano ka intimate? Game. I'll start. Mm-hmm. For you, this is for you. Show it to the camera after. Oh my god, this is intense intimacy deck. Oh what? I don't think you're gonna answer Can this. Go. Go. Oh so this god. is our most candid and our most, I know, guys. Okay. Um, what famous person would you want the hall pass to sleep with? So, uh, sa mga nakikinig, yung mga hindi alam yung hall pass. I think based on the movie, it is like given a pass. A pass, like you could. It's like a CR pass when you were in high school. Din <laughs> CR pass. What the hell? Parang oh no, parang you have like a hall pass for one week and you can do whatever you want. Yeah. As if for lahat ng commitment. Okay, so just answer the question. But disclaimer: that's something that we don't believe in. We are a um, um, monogamous relationship. <laughs> just so, to put it out. Just there. to put it out there. Okay. But uh, I would answer this question. You know, na money. Oh. If uh, there was a famous person, if I had the hall pass that I would sleep with, it would be Margot Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it from the start. <laughs> Margot right. Robbie is my crush. Yeah. Okay. And who else? Just Margot Robbie. Huh? Dami mo crush eh. Like you, dami mo crush. Okay. <laughs> First question for Gab. Oh my god, and the lag of Filipina. What? This question so easy for you. What? On a scale of 1 to 10, how comfortable are you with PDA, public displays of affection? Explain. Okay, depends. Explain. Okay, sure. This is so easy. On a scale of 1 to 10 first, answer okay, that. Okay, yeah, it depends. For example, in a work setting, my PDA would be like around 2. But when we were uh, with friends, we are outside, lalo na talaga with friends, barkada, and we're just the two, uh, just the two of us. Maybe 12. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yo pa plus ten ah. Yeah, maybe twelve. Oh, explain why. No, because explain so work muna. Okay, why. fine. In a work setting, si balik tad kami. In a work setting, Kali's the one who's ano clingy. Because I want a <laughs> half of it is because pinagditripan ko siya. Because I know she hates it. So I work. don't like it. Tapos pinagditripan ko siya to kind of make things light. Yeah, like he would hug me naman, hug me, <laughs> and then he would bigla bigla na lang kiss me on the cheek. Pero ako, oh my god, don't do that here. <laughs> 
So it makes it makes me uncomfortable. Like I feel like kasi coming in from our industry, 'di ba? Parang ang daming tumataas yung kilay. So I don't want to appear na we're unprofessional when yeah. we're on set. Yeah. That's why I just don't like PDA on set. Mm-hmm. So we don't talaga if we have our own tents, we stay in our own tents. Mm-hmm. Like we don't see each other. It's that literal talaga. Uh, pag uh, with friends, oh, explain why 12. With friends and when we're outside. Because I like it. We're not working. And I'm. that's my love language. Being affectionate. And I like it. And you know the feeling that when you're with your... Hindi ka nahihiya. Ako kasi, guys, with friends, nahihiya ako. Nahihiya siya. Ako Super. hindi. Napaproud ako. <laughs> <laughs> Yung feeling ko na napaproud ako na oh, may kahag ako. <laughs> Ganon. Kasi inaasar nila tayo. Like, I don't mind. I like na asar. Ako nahihiya talaga ako. That's why siya pag... Uh, You know, she, she smothers me with like kisses on the cheek in front of her friends. I'm like, Pa, can you stop? Yeah, balik tad kami. Yeah. Siguro ang common ground damin is when we're alone. <laughs> yun, Siyempre, hindi naman clingy. private yun eh. Oh, but but talaga, balik tad kami. In the work setting, Kali would be more PDA. But with friends and in public, I'd be the more PDA. Right? Chicken, my God, is that all you've got? Okay, this. What's your favorite way to receive affection? Hugs. Oh, okay. I'm uh, more of a hug person. I, actually, I also love kisses, especially on the cheek. You know, when I'm driving, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'd ask you to kiss. But my favorite is hugs. It's just, I guess... Comforting. It, it's not only romantic, kasi, eh, but it's also just... It's a stress reliever. It's comforting. It's um For me, it's like the perfect, you know, like, Like if you really care about someone, parang I'll always be here. It's a hug. Okay, got it. I know that, naman. You know that. <laughs> you, your kiss. Eh. Yeah, I'm a kiss person. Yeah. Okay. Me. <laughs> oh my God! Please take it easy. <laughs> What? We're gonna spice things up. No guys. bastos, ha? No bastos. What do I do that turns you on the most? <laughs> Ooh, um, I'd say. <laughs> Be honest, ah. Okay, this is so hard. Go. I'm such a. I'm like in the closet and hiding <laughs> now. <laughs> Go. Okay, there are like two things. Whenever you're having an interview and then you're just so sure of what to say, that turns me on. That's so weird. <laughs> and then second, <laughs> when you're directing me. <laughs> Like directing you? Yeah, like for like creatively. Yeah, like for example, or setting up something, or like doing your own shit with your cameras and everything. That turns <laughs> me on. <laughs> This is so badoy. I'm not. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm not a no. Okay, okay. That's the conservative, ano, conservative answers. Those are uh, the, the non-conservative. You keep it to yourself, na lang. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, describe. This is so hard. Describe something that turns you on, which you haven't shared with me. That's so hard. Yeah, yun nga, it's so hard. You wanna skip it? Because you know, naman din na. Eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Next question. Okay. I don't know what to say really. What part of your body do you worry turns me off? Do you worry? What? Yeah. You worry. My. My fats. <laughs> my tummy and my thighs. You have a cute tummy. It's okay. Yeah. We all have cute tummies. That has always been my uh, struggle in life, guys. I my tummy, my sides, and tau- and sides, love handles. Yeah. The sides and my thighs that are super big. Well, just to clear it out, it's not a turn off for me. It's cute. Okay. Well, that's what I worry. Okay, <laughs> your turn. What makes me different from the other people you've been with? Okay, and dami kasi. So what what aspect and what aspect? I don't know. May wala namang sinabi. Wala top of your head. Top of my head. Um your values. Really? Yeah. A lot actually. Um but on the top of my head, how much you respect a woman. Maybe that. A lot, talaga. But on the top of my head, that one, and how you are so sensible as a person, not only as a partner, but like in general. Na parang I learn so much from you, and yung hindi lang puro happy, happy butterflies, rainbows. Like we really learn a lot from each other, and I feel like 
yeah that um that and being so respectful to women wow. to women gosh I'm here up <laughs> okay, okay next okay here babe I'm so curious. Kali doesn't talk about me so much with his friends. Like, he wants his relationship private, even to his closest friends. That's why I'm always so, 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 so curious kung kailan niya ba ako ever kinuwento sa mga kaibigan niya or sa family niya. So, how do you describe me to other people? Or do you ever describe me to other people? I don't, uh, no. I don't go into detail. Like ever? Yeah, like I don't like. Really? I that's just probably me. Except siguro no, except like a few close, like really close friends. Mm-hmm, like Josh. Mm. Yeah, or like y- kunyari yun, si Josh and Maki kunyari. Mm. Like you're super close ko talaga. People who I get advice from, I I keep it like like even less than a handful of people. Lang. So I, I I keep it that private simply because I. So how do you describe th- me? To who? To my super close people or to, or to generally everyone? To both. Well, because most of the time, to the people who are the closest to me. They know me. They know you. <laughs> and they know like how we are. Yeah. So, wala. They know ne. Like, hindi ko naman din describe na o ganito sig. Well, I do. Before. I did before. Oh, so personality, how Personality, ganun kalalim. Uh, your personality, your tendencies, my t- and how we... Kasi I asked them for advice eh. Okay. So, uh, it, it's laying out our differences. Uh, ganito kasi, ganyan. So, like, this but, is how I feel like, about her now. But like, for example, a random friend goes to you, Kamusta kayo ni Gabby? Like, how is she? How is she as a person? Mm, ganon. Uh-oh. How is she as a girlfriend? Ganun okay, lang. ganon. Okay, so to the general, yeah, like, the general people, lang. Na not in detail. They, I, I often describe you whenever ano kinakamusta. Oh, kamusta kayo ni Gabby? How are you guys talaga like in mm. the relationship? I automatically say, you guys know how chill I am. <laughs> She's on the other side of the planet. <laughs> so we're we're total opposites. That's true. <laughs> but. She compliments me so much. Yeah. She helps me so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's more of a people person, and I'm not. Okay, so you you tell them our differences. Yeah, I kind of tell them na we're. Basa kung paano ako hindi siya ganon. Yeah, ganun? parang ganon. But but parang the takeaway there is, it's working for the yeah, both of us. Yeah. But but I also say how like individually strong you are okay. as a as a person, your personality. Okay. Yeah, that you embody a strong and uh, you know, like really strong-willed woman. Nice. Yeah, that's how I <laughs> that's how I describe you. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay, my turn. What's that? Here we go. This is I think this is the last question. Yeah. Here guys, okay. We're down to our last question. If you guys saw us skip some questions because they're just too private. The other yeah. quest, because this is the intimacy part of the intimacy deck, and siguro balikan namin to after Mga five, ten years, ten ta- years, ten years. Because <laughs> siguro masasagot na namin siya candidly in front of you guys, but like as of now, we'd rather keep our privacy to ourselves. Yup, masasagot na namin siya parang sa guesting sa kito boy. <laughs> Ganon. <laughs> but this is the final question, and it's for Gab, and it's something naman that we could discuss. Okay. I think not in detail, but hopefully. Oh my god, okay, just go. Throw it in. It's simple. Describe our first kiss. Oh, okay. I, I, I want to talk about that actually. Yeah. Okay, so our first kiss was in Grand Hyatt. <laughs> oh my gosh, this story is. Okay, so I forgot now where we went. Because technically. This is before I got sick. Yeah. Backstory. Uh, nasa nabanggit ni Gab that it was in a hotel in Grand Hyatt. It's sa pool side. Mm-hmm. That's where exactly it happened. Because yeah. not every, in a room, guys. Not in a room, it's yeah. in the pool side. Very early on, sa stage palang kami nun. So we had a lot of boundaries pa. Mm-hmm. So we were. I was in uh, Grand. I was staying in Grand Hyatt because every March for my Lola's birthday, my tita, uh, tita Lynn, and my my tito boy from the US, kapatid ng both siblings of my dad, they come home to s- s- celebrate my Lola's birthday. So, lagi kami every March, except of course, the pandemic. So, parang that was my home for, I think, I think more than one week, no? Yeah, matagal. Matagal. Like, oh. 
Grabe, ha? Social so, yung buhay ko. Nasa hotel ako. And that was so close to my to condo. To her condo. So, mm. sobrang lapit lang. So, we would, ano, we would like, do random. We would watch movies. Tapos, we would go around the uh, City of Dreams yun, di ba? Yeah. So, we would go around City of Dreams. Tapos, wala, bonding, bonding lang. Mm-mm. Yun, that's the, that's the reason why we were there. And then, go. I don't remember din kasi okay. what happened na. So, that time, I remember... Your brother was in the hospital, not you. And I forgot na kung saan tayo galing. Basta we ended up na parang we don't know where to go. So we just said na, oh, let's just hang out in Hayat. Hayat. And that was like late. Like that was like 11 p.m. or 12 midnight. So we went to Hayat and the poolside was closed na. No, we went to the lounge first. Okay. I remember na. Because there's a really good lounge there if you're like, you know, a member. So I, I I wanted to take you there because free yung food, free Uh-oh. yung ano, yung drink, so we could just yeah, chill there and get the ambiance, may yeah. Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. So perfect place to chill siya. But when we got there, hindi namin naabutan ng sarana. It's close na. So sabi namin, oh let's just go to the pool side, which is the pool is closed already, and we just went in because wala naman tao and we can just chill there beside the pool. Yeah, naka ano pa, nakalatag pa yung mga pool beds. Oh so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Masa yung higaan pag sunbathing ka. Yeah. So we were just there and we, for some reason, we started talking, talking, and then we started talking about life. We started sharing our stories, what we think of our, of life, what we think um, of what's happening now. Parang, parang more like deep conversations. And then... I don't know, it happened, I guess. It happened. As in, you na. Yeah, I remember the position natin dun... I think, like, my arm was wrapped around you. I forgot. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, parang ako ko sa'yo. Tapos mm-hmm. it happened. Like, it happened lang. And it wasn't like, mm, like, French kiss na parang kiss, kiss, kiss. It, it was, was just a slow, like a slow... Like, like, really slow kiss. Yeah. Because, to be honest, I felt hesitant. Ah, really? Like, at first, ah, parang, Pero we like, baka hindi pa tamang time. Pero we were like five months na nun. Yeah. Ayun yung tagal na. Ayun yung pakiramdam ko. Tapos ang pakiramdam niya. Ang tagal. Ang tagal. <laughs> Promise, I was telling my friends, sila Jason and sila Mark, my yeah. glam team, every time we see each other, tiyatanong nila, like, kiss na ba kayo? Ang tagal mga te. <laughs> hindi Iniintay pa din. Iniintay niya na pala na, na ano. Iniintay niya na pala. Pero ako, guys, like, to be honest, like, no, no BS. I don't know, maybe kasi, you know, like I've been single at that before you I and before I met like before we be, became a couple like a relationship it was around four years eh. mm. so I was really hesitant because I didn't wanna like shempre because when you start diba, there are boundaries yeah. and I, I I'm I wasn't one hundred percent sure if that boundary was ano na, gone na. Mm-hmm. W- when na, it was it to be crossed mm-hmm. but I wala, we, I took a chance I guess and it felt. The, it felt like the right moment for yeah. me. Parang, parang when we were having our conversation, parang it was kind of really leading to that. Leading na. to it. And I remember asking you after, like I communicated it again, na, are you okay? Parang, does it feel okay? Does it mm-hmm, feel right? Mm-hmm. I remember that. Does it feel right? And yeah. then she told me, yeah. Mm. It feels and right. we were okay. Ah, it, yeah. ganda, high five. And I wanted to make sure, kasi, because pag sinabi niyang hindi, then you would apologize. And I would, you uh, know, understand better na, okay, so this is where we're at. Yeah. Na, okay, uh, okay, wala pa kami dun. Eh, kaso si ate girl, ang tagal. Yung tagal na, oo. Oh, <laughs> natagalan pala si ate girl. No, because that was like five or six months already. <laughs> Ako, I don't remember. Ganun yeah, that was five, six months na. Yeah. Then no kisses. Five, six mm-hmm. months. Wala kay cheeks, wala. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, wala. I don't know, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Wala, hanggang holding hands pa lang. Okay. So yeah, that was That's it. That's the story of okay. our first kiss. And that uh, wraps up uh, the questions that we can answer from the intimacy part of the intimacy deck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> stay, stay tuned for a future podcast yeah. for the future categories of the intimacy deck. To those who are listening and watching now, uh, like we said, Ganina, this is the first of six mm-hmm. um, episodes mm-hmm. like all about uh, our relationship and our yeah. lives based on this intimacy deck. Uh, we answered intimacy kanina to just get that out of the way. 
Um, we have five more. Yung past, random, life, relationship, and about you. All right. So stick I'm around. excited. Yeah, stick around for uh, the future I episodes. Feel like, I feel like the other episodes, we can answer in full na talaga. Yeah, sorry guys if iniintay niyo yung mga questions about... Then, naka mga uh, naughty. Oh, naughty oh, sorry guys. Hindi, naughty, kinky, and hindi ko kaya. Yeah, questions about... Kali kaya. Kaya mo. Like, if you're comfortable... I'd probably answer. Me no, talaga. Yeah. Like, sorry guys, yeah. mga 10 years pa. <laughs> yeah, but you know, because she's uncomfortable, we'd rather not. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, guys. Okay, that wraps up, wraps up everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. And just a reminder, if you guys are on Spotify, if you're listening to this podcast, we are also on YouTube so that you can see us. Yep. And we have a three cam setup, guys. Sige na, na. <laughs> and if you're on YouTube uh, and uh, you decide to uh, rewatch or re-listen yeah, to this re-listen episode while if you're, you're on taking the go, a shower yeah. or whatsoever, or uh, yeah, or you know, doing your daily chores yeah. or driving, we're on Spotify. We're on Spotify. And of course, guys please don't miss out Front Seat Foodies on YouTube. All the foodies in the house. Mm-hmm. We're All on right. YouTube. Front Seat Foodies. See you there. Okay, guys. See you on our next episode. Bye, guys. Bye.